Actress Jennifer Jimenez joins us along with our friend psychiatrist, Dr. Dominic Sportelli. And Jennifer, thank you for sharing all of that with us. How did you get from that point to where you are now? When I left the psych ward, I, um, I needed to get back to my life is what I thought. I was in treatment for over um, three months um, the second time I went in. And uh, when I went back to LA, I needed to get my life back. And like literally all I did was contemplate suicide and using every single day. I, I had no game left in me. I didn't know how to do this thing called life. And um, I am so grateful to say I have a very loving sponsor who helped save my life. Yeah. So how did you ultimately get clean then? Well, um, that was my bottom, you know, uh, in the psych ward and hanging myself. And when I came to, and I couldn't speak because of the fixation, it took me about three months to learn to form sentences again or walk. I was in depends. I um, had no control of my bodily functions, and I shook profusely for nine months. And I just remember um, being in the wheelchair in the psych ward, and I could hear people going to meetings and stuff under in the on the first level. And I said in my head uh, to God, I said, God, is it humanly possible for a girl like me to ever feel whatever they were feeling? Because they felt something I didn't understand at the time. And uh, that was my day of surrender. And what that was was joy and freedom. And um, recovery has not been easy. I'm so grateful for the program and therapy. And, you know, I just follow directions. I, I just believed that you believed, because that's what they would tell me. And um, I still hold on to that. Jennifer, I want to applaud you. I mean, that, that is not an easy path. And I understand now it's your mission to go around and, and educate and inform people about the risks specifically of Adderall and your journey and what you went through, correct? Yes, it is. You know, um, my fiance, Tim Ryan, and I, <laughs> we um, formed up to work together and happened to fall madly in love with each other. And um, it's just another gift of sobriety. Um, we, uh, I'm so emotional right now. Um, we, it's our, it's our mission to help people, you know, and to pay it forward and to give people hope and to pe let people know that they are not alone and they can get through this. Um, and it doesn't matter where you come from, how much money you have, how much money you don't have, you know, this disease does not discriminate. Yep. Do you think, looking back, is the perception that these stimulants are completely benign when people especially get started using them? Absolutely, 100%. You know, um, I know that, you know, a lot of times this business, the entertainment world, um, it, there's a lot of rejection. You know, you're always told you're not enough um, and you feel like you're not enough and you feel that you need to fit this mold, you know. And one of the greatest gifts I've learned is Hollywood didn't bring me down. I brought myself down in Hollywood. Um, and, you know, the pressures that you put upon yourself, you know, and people are like, oh, you know, an agent, a hairdresser, a makeup artist is like, just take this pill, take that pill, you'll be fine. And, you know, Adderall for me is my gateway drug. Um, it made me think, you know, I can say I have ADD. Um, and um, it would help me focus, but so quickly did it lead me to my drug of choice. And, you know, that's what happens. You don't even realize you're taking one pill, two pills, three pills, and all of a sudden you're hooked. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of other actors and, and a lot of models, you know, they would say, oh, I'm so much more creative. And I'm like, so am I, you know, and like, I can get really more in tune with my character. And like, yet I was wearing a mask, like I couldn't dig deep and get you know into that depth and weight of what I really wanted to portray and bring out because I was so sedated um, and not present for my experience and you know I think that happens a lot in addiction people don't realize that they are not present and then you're realizing you're numbing yourself and so many lives are being cut short because of this disease.